Okay guys, I want to give you a quick little rundown of what I do when I have multiple codes. Everybody says, okay, find all the list of codes, start with the first one first, make the repair, go to the second one, make the repair, third one, etc. I don't do that. I find the common denominators. In this scenario, I have a P2198 code, which is a, uh, shows it right up here, what does the code mean? It is a 2198 uh, OBD code, trouble code, O2 sensor, signal, stuck rich, bank 2, sensor 1. Bank 2, remember, is always opposite of the number 1 cylinder. So the head that has the number 1 cylinder on it, it would be the opposite. The number 1 cylinder would be considered bank 1. Sensor 1 would be the first sensor that, that is on that exhaust. And the second sensor would be sensor 2, bank 2, sensor 2, etc. I think you understand that. So check this out. So I go down here and I find out what the repairs to fix that particular code is. Now I have a 2197 code, which would be a lean code on the exact same bank. Uh, so I have a rich code and I have a lean code. So I go down here to my notepad and I post uh, each code and then I post the fixes for each code. And if you notice between these fixes, we have two common denominators. We have replace the harness as damaged or corrosion. We have wiring and connectors here on the 2198. On the 2197, we also have a PV PCV leak, which could be a vacuum leak down here on the 2198. So those are the two things that I would look for first. In this case, it was my O2 sensor and it was the wiring. Here's the wiring before the pigtail. It was chewed by a rat. So I simply just made the repair on the wiring, put some heat shrink on it, and I'm good to go. So in this case, I didn't change a sensor, an O2 sensor. I didn't have to troubleshoot a whole lot through all the codes. I simply found the common denominator first for those codes. So, <clears throat> excuse me, when you hear somebody say, start with the first code and go down, you can work your way that way if you'd like. But take a moment, pull it up. If you don't want to read it all, post it all like this so you can see it easier. Just copy and paste it to a notepad like I do and find the common denominator and look for that first. I think you'll find out that you'll save yourself a lot of time and you'll save yourself money, which is what this channel is all about. So if this helped you out, please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.